Hello everyone, welcome to Accountants Journal. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang Microsoft Excel for Accounting Professionals. Okay? So, the reason why I'm creating this video is para matulungan natin yung kapwa natin mga accountants, whether they are CPAs or not, or not yet, uh, to prepare for the uh, real world. Kasi, uh, in reality, if you're going to work as an accountant, it's not enough that you have that CPA license or it's not enough that you have a bachelor's degree in accountancy. Uh, in reality, kailangan ng mga employers yung mga accountants who can actually deliver, okay, or who can perform. And uh, the use of Microsoft Excel is very, very uh, in demand for accounting professionals, okay? And uh, I believe that the presence of uh, any system will not eliminate the need for Microsoft Excel kasi ito yung uh, pinaka-tool na ginagamit talaga ng mga uh, accountants. Now, uh, konting disclaimer lang, I'm not an expert uh, in Excel. So, what I'm about to share in a moment are simply my uh, experience in using Microsoft Excel as an accountant. Okay? So, sana marami kayong matutunan dito sa short video natin and para magamit nyo rin to sa inyong mga trabaho. And uh, I believe that this will not be the last video about uh, Microsoft Excel for Accounting Professionals. So from time to time, gagawa pa rin ako ng mga videos on how I can somehow contribute to the development of the uh, accounting professionals. Okay? So topic natin ngayong araw ay VLOOKUP and IF ERROR. So uh, dahan-dahanin lang natin. Ano? So paisa-isa, padalawa-dalawa lang na function ng pag-uusapan natin per video para mas uh, maintindihan nyo siya. Now, paano ba ginagawa itong VLOOKUP na to? So, napakahalaga nito kung ikaw ay uh, gagawa ng mga data entry function. Kasi usually, di ba, as an accountant, isa sa mga nagiging trabaho talaga natin yung mga data entry. Especially kung uh, magsisimula ka pa lang sa trabaho. No? And uh, VLOOKUP is a very powerful function uh, in Excel na pwede mong magamit sa trabaho mo, especially on data entry. So, let's say for example, uh, ito yung sales book mo. Okay? So, this is the sales book of ABC Cleaning Supplies and Services for the month of December of 2020. Now, ito um, yung kailangan mong i-fill out. Okay? As someone who is just starting in accounting. So, normally kapag ka uh, nagsisimula ka pa lang sa trabaho, talagang ang daming mga data entry. And as you can see, nilagyan ko ng kulay yung column D, E, and F. Kasi itong mga columns na to ang gagawa natin ng formula so that we can automate itong tatlo na to. Okay? And at the same time, um, you have your purchases book. So kung kanina nagbebenta ka, dito naman bumibili ka. And in the same manner, nilagyan ko din ng kulay yung D, E, and F kasi nga, ito yung mga columns na i-automate natin. <coughs> uh, okay? So, to do that, um, let's look at our transaction. So, here are your sales transactions. And uh, ito naman yung iyong mga purchases transactions. Okay? Now, for the purpose of our discussion, ginawa ko lang siyang Excel file. Pero, imaginein mo na these are your source documents. So, yan yung mga resibo, o kaya mga sales invoice ng mga binenta mo, o kaya ng mga pinabili mo. Okay, but for the purpose of this um, video, um, ginawa ko lang siyang Microsoft Excel, of course, para mas madali. Now, to do that, um, kung magtatrabaho ka, normally, ito talagang mga sales transaction and purchases transactions na to ay ire-record mo dito sa iyong sales book and purchases book, for example. Okay? So, <clears throat> imagine kung wala kang way to automate the process, talagang mano-mano may susulat yan. Okay? And uh, again, as I mentioned, VLOOKUP and IF ERROR will help you somehow um, automate some of the uh, functions na pwede mong uh, maging trabaho. Okay? So, now to do that, ang VLOOKUP kasi, ang pinaka-function niya ay um, simula dun sa... Uh, kabilang sabihin na nating sheet or uh, some other place, kailangan mong uh, mag-create ng uh, 
same reference na kung saan um, yung mga value from the other um, ano bang, paano ba natin sasabihin to? Um, from the other location, madadala mo sa kabilang location. Let's say for example, bigyan natin ng sample itong sales books. Okay? So, let's say for example, ang gagamitin nating reference dito ay yung customer ID. Okay? So, ito yung mga customer IDs. Okay? Basically, if you're going to list all these transactions dito sa iyong sales books, or sa iyong sales book, itatype mo lahat yan eh, di ba? Ngayon, etong reference date and customer ID, at saka itong cash, receivables, and sales, for example, uh, these are the things that we cannot automate kasi ano to eh, um, nagbabago yan. Etong customer address, uh, customer names, address, and description, most often than not, um, consistent yan. Okay, kaya pwede natin siyang i-automate. Now, how does VLOOKUP works? So, let's say for example, um, okay, para mas mabilis tayo, yung reference date and customer ID, uh, kunyari na i-type na natin siya. Okay, so ikakopy ko na lang muna dito. Oops, meron na pala tayong formula. So, i-delete natin yan para ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano gawin yung VLOOKUP. And at the same time, yung ating cash, receivables, and sales, i-copy na rin natin since, uh, or para mas mabilis ang ating trabaho. Okay? <coughs> Now, what we want to do is that using this customer ID as your reference, kukunin natin yung mga values na sinet natin from your uh, list of customers going to your sales book. So, i-meaning, gagamitin natin reference to para i-look up natin itong mga values na to. Okay? And how to do that? Punta tayo sa ating sales book. So, in here, ang una nating hahanapin yung customer names. And to do that, all you have to do is you type VLOOKUP then you close ah, sorry, open, open parenthesis. Now, you have to look for the lookup value. Yung lookup value, yun yung same reference nyo from this location to another. So, let's say for example, itong C, yan ang ating magiging lookup value. Then, ang next na concern mo ay yung table array. So, table array, uh, eto siya, yung uh, collection ng data kung saan uh, hahanapin niya yung kung ano man yung kailangan mong hanapin. Okay? So, that would be from column A up until D. Although, pwede ka nang mag-stop dito sa B kasi ang kailangan mo lang naman talaga yung customer names. Pero, since tatlo yung hahanapin natin, isagad na natin hanggang letter D. Okay? So, now that we have our table array, ayan, ang next ay kailangan nating i-direct uh, kung saan column siya maghahanap. Okay? So, as you can see, A, B, ang kailangan nating column for this uh, uh, lookup would be the second column. Okay? So, you have to, uh, to type number 2. And then, uh, for the range lookup, meron dalawa. If you type true, it will get uh, the approximate match or if you type false, it will look for the exact match. So, in this case, we need the exact match. So, we need to type false. Okay? And then, that's it. So, let's try to look if C001 is really Juan de la Cruz. Okay, so ito siya. So, tama naman yung ating formula. Now, move forward, we look for address. Now, the reason bakit kinapture ko yung from column A to D dun sa kabila is for me to copy this para i-paste dito yan and i-change ko na lang yung column. So, I believe, nandun siya sa pangatlong column. So, change ko lang to into 3. And that's it. Let's try to see if Manila nga yung address niya. Okay. So, tama naman. And then, for the description, same procedure. Tatype ko lang yung 4. Papalitan ko lang. Same, same um, formula. Then, I'll just have to change it by 4. And that's it. So, let's try, let's try to, uh, to see if uh, yung description niya ay sale of cleaning materials. 
Okay, so it is confirmed. So tama yung ating formula. And that's how you automate uh, your work using VLOOKUP. If you drag this down, okay, it will automatically look for the value to your list of customers. Okay, so meaning, kung uh, itatype mo to, no need na itype mo na isa-isa. All you have to do is to use the this reference to look for the value some, some other places. Okay, dun sa ibang location. Okay, that is in your list of customers. Okay, but wait, I have a very, very uh, important um, thing to discuss with you with VLOOKUP. What if i-extend natin dito yung ating formula? As you can see, meron siyang NA. Okay, NA. For one simple reason, kasi unang-una, wala pa tayong nilalagay dito sa ating uh, customer ID. So, basically, wala pang same reference na maghahanap doon sa iyong list of customers. So, what if naglagay ka naman dito, pero uh, NA pa rin. So, simply because wala naman kasing C008 doon sa ating list of customers. Okay? At dito na natin gagamitin yung if error. Okay? Kasi, the reason for that is, if you look at this, it looks very unprofessional, ano? So, as an accountant, gusto natin as much as possible maninis yung ating data. So, to do that, all you have to do, you put if error, okay, and then you put open uh, parenthesis, and then um, maglagay ka dito ng comma, and uh, itong sign na to, I forgot how, how you call it, but um, uh, that's how it looks like. So, then, i-close mo siya. So, ibig lang sabihin, if ginamit mo itong VLOOKUP function mo at uh, wala siyang uh, nakuhang value, simply because wala pa sigurong walang reference, kagaya nung una ko nabanggit, and at the same time, wala talaga siyang hahanapin doon sa uh, kabilang location kung saan sa sinet mo siya, then, ah, uh, it will reflect a blank, okay? Blank value dun sa ating cell. Okay na? If error, it will give us blank value. Okay? So, let's try to see if it, this will work. Okay? Then, idadrag ko to. Oh, see? So, this time, mawawala na yung mga NA, NA na yan. So, i-apply na rin natin siya dito sa dalawang column. If error, ah, sorry, if error, open, then comma here, then enter, same as on this uh, column, if error, open, then close, Okay, so pag dindrag natin yan, then it will give us blank values. So, this time, uh, yung ating um, Excel file looks very professional now. Okay? So, that's how it works. Uh, VLOOKUP and if error. So, try naman natin dito sa ating purchases books. Okay? So, in the same manner, we have the purchase transactions. So, as I mentioned, ito hindi na natin ito ma-automate kasi nga talagang kailangan mo siyang i-type. So, i-copy na lang muna natin siya dito. And then, at the same time, yung purchases payable and cash. Copy din natin siya dito. Okay, so, let's try to see kung natatandaan pa natin yung um, VLOOKUP. So, ito naman, yung list ng suppliers natin and uh, information patungkol sa kanila, dadalhin naman natin papunta dito sa purchases books using supplier ID as our reference. Okay, and to do that, again, uh, i-factor in na natin dito yung if error. Okay, if error, then open VLOOKUP. Okay, dito. Then, list of suppliers. 
Again, ha, isasagot ko na ulit hanggang letter D. Pero, dun muna tayo sa column number 2. Then, we need to get the exact match. We type false. And then, since nakafactor in na yung ating if error, complete the formula. So that, um, kung walang, wala siyang makita or magka-error man, it will give us blank value. Okay, so it's working. So now, all you have to do is to copy this. Kasi magkakadikit lang naman silang column. And then you just have to change the column number to 3. And then this one to 4. Then drag this down. And that's it. Okay? So, nakukuha na natin yung mga value from other location through VLOOKUP. Okay? So, let's try kung talagang okay siya. Try natin yung S002 kung lalabas nga si MS Superstore Makati and Purchase of Cleaning Materials. So, S002. And that's it. So, lumalabas siya. Okay? So, delete na natin. So, now, that's how VLOOKUP and if error works. So, sana may natutunan kayo dito sa ating short video. And uh, watch out for more videos kasi gagawa pa ulit tayo ng mga uh, helpful uh, Microsoft Excel function for accounting professional. Para matulungan again tayo na maging employable. And at the same time, kung gusto nating mag-practice ng ating profession as an accountant, malaking tulong din na marunong tayo sa Microsoft Excel. Okay? So, muli... Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you on the next videos.